Miss Chick Girl entertains one woman, one show, one night. So tonight is going to be so much fun. My name is Andrea Peregrino. What is your name? Chioma. What you do for work? I'm a comedian. Wow. Is, then they'll say things like, that is main job? Or you have other? I said, no, that is main job. Wow. Chigal is an amazing character, an hilarious character, and um, very riotous. Chima is such a strong person and she, she just always tries to bring joy wherever she goes and that's such an admirable you know character trait and yeah it was just so beautiful to watch. I was laughing all the way. Well, shall, well now we they make noise for front. No way you talk say while I no go say just they drink milkshake then your life go change. No be you talk, say, say not fit fun for life. Say, I go lose my belly and thighs. But what he are they see with my It's still here, eh? I relate to all sides of her, really. I relate to the musician in her, um, especially because we've, we've song together before. It was just a blessing to be able to see her at work, to see her put herself out there, no whole bars, give it so that we can take it. <laughs> uh -uh. Oh my god, it was amazing, amazing. It needs to be bigger, bigger and bigger and bigger and, um, and uh, everyone needs to experience this, yeah. I wanted to have boyfriend. You know when you want to have boyfriend? Any boy? that come around can be your friend. I met a guy. I didn't know he was not okay. He looked all right to me. You know, salt and pepper beard, nice gray, you know. I found out later that there was an issue. Right now she's showing a lot of things, but people are not paying attention to those things because she's a girl. If it was a guy, they would have given her a lot more accolade. I thought it was amazing. It was. It was also very emotional for me because, I don't know, seeing great talent makes me emotional. And seeing hard work and somebody who's excellent at their craft says a lot. Tonight we experienced Chema, Chico, all her size, her comedy, her music, and herself. Chico is an all-rounder and I connect with her on every level, every... Um, side of her she decides to show i connect i connect with her she's my friend she, she's a fantastic comedian she's a great actor she's um, a good girl in general so it's just you know it's a love that is here to stay there aren't a lot of comedians that can actually hold the stage and hold their own for like over an hour and she just get, she kept giving it to us back to back to back and we were taking it as she was giving it we were taking it and she went into the different accents. Then they hit you with a big one. You can show me your breast scissors. What? You can show me. I said show you what? Your, you know, your breast scissors. I said, sir, I am not showing my breast to anybody. What about Bom Bom? I sat through about just over an hour of Chi on stage, and I was laughing through it all. Um, 
It was smart, it was quick, it was honest, it was original. For trying to wreck my world, you tell me you like the fat Nigerian boy. You say, baby, just eat what you want. There's nothing wrong with that Nigerian boy. I won't let you come and just change my world. This is not like the movie. You say, baby, you look so good. I love you the way you are. But the chick that's in your car doesn't, doesn't look, look like, like me, Nigerian boy. My, my total love is her being able to do so many accents. You know, the, the British one, the one of uh, ancient America, and you know, playing different characters, you know, that's a gift, that's a gift. Chigo has so many personalities, so many people inside of her. She's a bit unwell. I really think that you cannot be that talented if you are completely well. It's like Einstein, you know what I mean? So, we were traveling to Dubai. Mm, yeah, we vacationed together. What struck me first, mind you, I didn't catch it. He said, this boy has lived in England since 1976. That make him a what? A citizen, not Brexit, a citizen. He said, so could you get me a Dubai visa? I said, for what? You have a passport, don't you? He said, yeah, but, I said, but what? He said, um, my passport's new. I said, it's even better. It's been renewed, isn't it? He was like, well, I don't want people touching it with their dirty hands. So I would rather you just get me, you know, get me a visa. So I don't have to worry about this side. I don't have to worry about my passport being dirty. So I just thought, I didn't see the flag. I just thought, okay, he's clean. He's a clean guy. She girl is, um, uh, there's something, uh, a few friends of mine, she knows this as well. We call them good brotopsy. GBU, and that is what she got. It's, she has good buttopsy. She's a delight, you know. If you know her as a friend, uh, I believe you know a good person. These are the kind of people you want in your corner. Um, she's dedicated to what she does. Um, she has a lot of respect in the industry. I just love her, and uh, she's down to earth. That's my kind of people. She's down to earth, no airs about her. I'm a huge fan of Chigo. Um, she's an amazing performer, an amazing person. So having this dream realized for her, in fact, I'm tapping into the anointing because I'm like, I'm like, this is so like, this is, this is the stuff I love. I'm like, I love, um, I love the creativity that goes into like one woman shows. I love music, you know, Broadway, all of that. I'm like, you know, my, you know how we do this thing. So I'm just, I, I was so excited. I want a man that just makes me, makes my heart go pizza pata, you understand? Not bim bim, pizza pata. <laughs> that I can tell something too, very softly, very sweetly, that he will not, you know, he won't choke him. It, it has to happen every year. I don't understand why it wouldn't. Like this is the first time I've ever seen a female comedian in Nigeria like stand-up comedian. I've never been to a show where there was a female comedian on, like stand-up comedian on stage. It's all just been men, and I think in the industry that we're in, in the times that we're in, there's their space. You know, Chioma is a product of a certain family, and the Omera clan are just a whole problem. The ones that I know personally, Inyi, Eno, and Chioma, and sometimes their mom, I'm just like, I spend so much time in that house and I start talking like them sometimes and it's actually a problem because that is just, they're very, they're very infectious. You can't, you, you can't be there and not, you know, catch on the, the vibe. So yeah, good times. This is brave. This is bruised. This is who I meant to be. This is me. Look out, cause here I come. And I'm marching on to the beat I drum. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I love you. So guys, 
this is the woman of the moment. <laughs> the delectable, the amazing. You know, you know what? I hope you, I hope you got to watch the show. Everything. <laughs> I do. I can't. I can't you come do up that. Carilla, I cannot do that to myself. It will be a sin for myself to use the show. This is Shioma Omira. A.K.A. Chick Girl, yes. A.K.A. Seaflo, yeah. A.K.A. Which one are you? Hello, hello, all, all. Everything. Thank you. You're such a wonder, man. Thank you. You are so amazing. Thank you so much. This was, this was awesome. Thank you. Being the first of its kind, it was really awesome. So, um, I just have a couple of questions mm -hmm. for you. Not mm -hmm. so much. How was it able for you to pull up a show like this? What do you think um, was a, the need in the entertainment industry for you to come up with a show like this? I mean, I, I don't necessarily think there was a need per se. I feel like everybody has their own um, sort of like area of specialization when it comes to entertainment and comedy especially. And I like music and I'm a comedian, so I just decided to put two of those worlds together and come up with this really small, short, sort of, I wanted to just sort of like see what, how it would, it would go. And I thank God for how it went. So, um, yeah, so, so it, it was literally, and I think it was just a leap of faith for me as well, because I've been so scared for so long, because I mean, I've watched all the, all the greats do it, Julius and, and Basket and Bovi and, and Ali and, and like all of them and, and just to AY and like I see them put shows together and I'm like how do they do this one on this small scale was overwhelming for me I was like how do they do such huge things year after year and back to back and I'm like oh I don't know if I'm gonna do this and I was you know literally until I until I took the microphone I was I wanted to cancel <laughs> like I literally was like why are we doing this again yeah, thank I'm God right now. <laughs> So I'm so I'm just I'm just glad I was able to do it and accomplish it. And I'm grateful to the fans and I get emotional when I talk about it because when I was and I talked about this time last year and it was literally my the fans who got me through a lot of things. You know, they sent me messages, they were they sent me DMs, they you know, they sent me messages and it was just like who am I that People love you. Yes, you know what I mean? Amazing. Yeah, I, I mean, no, I thank God. I thank yeah. God, but it's just, it's just you don't expect the support you get sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes, especially when at times when it could be like a really bad time, yeah. and that was, and people have just been so amazing. People have been so amazing. There have been some bad, but the good has been so good, so good, so good, and I can't complain. That's really amazing. I can't complain. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, did you really get a lot of support from your family? Oh yes. Oh yes. My brother's my manager. So he spearheaded this whole planning this whole thing and getting me to this point. So, yeah. yeah that's great. So do we hope to see more of this? All let me just go and let me go and sleep on this one. Tomorrow we ask questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going. You said you said next next what? You say what? Thank you. Them go come as lovers as them disguise, but as time goes by, now your body be prized. Success with is this fella? That's why sometimes I know they're surprised. Them go say them love you, but that not like. Why didn't you put the chorus? Chop and clean mouth. That's tell you idea. bye bye. That's I have no idea. Okay, them go come as lovers as them disguise, but as time goes by, now your body they pra It sounds like sounds like a, a female sang it. Success self way you carry now die. That's why sometimes I know they surprise them go say them love you, but that not lie. Chop and clean out. It has to be a girl. Okay. If this is a guy, then mm, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Okay, so let me, let me break it to you. Okay. This is Kip's advice. I'm a mamalet. How come I didn't know this? I'm a mamalet. Like, seriously, I'm a mamalet from day one till present. I'm still a divanch girl. I still love him. This love no be ordinary thing. It's supposed to be one night fling, but now I don't they catch feelings that they vex when I see with another person. Oh no. I know they concentrate no more. Make me felicitate, Jawa. Hold me tight and rub on my head, baby. You make I feel all right. I don't know. Okay, so what do you think of the new ring? It's nice. I like it. I like the rhyming in it. Okay, so there's nobody that comes to mind? Yeah, I'm old school, though. 
I'm more school, all these young people, this is what they do. The old people will don't do this one. <laughs> Okay, so this is actually Joe Boy. I tell you, sir, no, no. Do you know Gregory Abbott? Okay. Oh, you, you, you Alexander O'Neill. <laughs> Make her call my own. The list is long. This love no be ordinary thing. You supposed to be one night fling, but now I don't they catch feelings. I they vex when I see you with another person. Oh no, I know they concentrate no more. Make we facilitate your work. Hold me tight and rub my on my head, baby. Make I feel all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it makes sense to appreciate love from this dimension. Uh, that um, you've um, encapt encaptured my being, my heart, and everything. So, um, what, what, what do you read? Uh, I like the way this boy writes and sings. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah. You know the person. Joe boy, Joe boy. I have everybody's song. I know everybody. I wow. know. I, I'm, I'm too updated I'm sure. for you people. Uh. I give me back oh, baka boom boom, wag. I honestly don't know what I'm reading. Okay, I give me back oh, a back a boom boom, wag goom bike oh like va boom boom. How you doing? How are you? You? I don't know. So you can't even make any guess? I cannot. So what is it? Okay, so just read the lyrics. Personally, what do you think about this? It, it's not making sense to me. I'm not, I don't even understand. Give me back, baka boom boom. We gonna be like va vum vum. How you doing? Yo yo. Jen Shino. I don't Okay, so this is... Really? How you doing? I would never have guessed. <laughs> They will come as lovers and them disguise. But as time goes by, now your body be the price. Success, self, where you can carry and die. That's why sometimes I know they surprise them. They say them love you, but not that not lie. Chop and clean. This is too baba now. This is. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 this is your mommy. This is a mommy, yeah. Okay, before I tell you, go. Rate the lyrics. What do you think? The she tried, she tried. She tried. Okay, could, should I tell you that this is not mommy? This is the band. Scapegoat. Then go call us lovers, but damn these guys. I can't go. 